right, this is the setup we got. It is a Remington 700 5R in 300 blackout, 16 inch barrel, might be 16 and a half. Um, silencer Co. It is the 762 Spec War silencer. And then it is sitting in a Bell and Carlson, I think it's called the A5. I'm not 100% sure, but. Um, and then a SWF A20X. And then the rail is a Badger Ordnance uh, 45 MOA rail. And that's the setup. And the ammunition I'm using is Gemtech brass. It's once fired. Uh, now it's about to be twice fired. Uh, 110 grain VMAX. Um, they are annealed, um, trimmed, all that good stuff. So as perfect as I can possibly get it. And the uh, necks are turned as well as you can see. They're nice and shiny. That's from turning the necks. And what that does is get everything as concentric as possible. Um, so bullet tension is as perfect as we can get it. So we went from something like 8 inches. <clears throat> and I'm assuming that was a brass. I pretty much tried everything. And now we are down to, i probably call that probably two inches, maybe inch and a half, probably two inches. Um, I just threw these down range. I wasn't trying to be extra steady or anything. I just wanted to generally see where it was. So that is way, 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 way better. Um, so I threw this one down here. I'm gonna do five more rounds um, and see if I can get that tightened up just a little bit. All right, that is my second group. Now I did have uh, what I would call one flyer. That's this one right here. It was actually a misfire. And then I think I ended up pulling the shot a little bit. However, um, it's in the group, so we count it. I'm not one of those guys that goes, oh, this is a flyer, we don't count that one. That's not how that works. If it's on, uh, if you pull the trigger, you count it. Um, so it did tighten up just a little bit. That was the second group, that's the first one. Um, so that's a little bit, a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more and see where we're at so this one i went ahead and adjusted uh 0.2 mils up and then i think 0.3 right and then that's what we got so i think that's about where we need to be and then let's test one more five round group and yeah, a little bit slower this time see if we can kind of uh, tighten it up a little bit more all right so that last one opened way up one two three four maybe five I think that might that might be two, I'm not sure. Um, actually that looks like two. So one, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, so that opened up. Um, not what I'm wanting. So we'll continue the testing. I'm gonna hang up another target. And then we're just gonna try some factory uh, ammunition. This is Barnes. Um, I believe it's 110. Oh, there we go. Three to blackout, 120 green, jacket at hollow point. Let's try it. All right, that is a six shot group with the factory ammunition. Obviously, uh, you can tell that's a lot better. Um, still a pretty decent spread. I'd say one, I don't know, one and a quarter, maybe one and a half inch, um, but essentially much, much better. Um, anyway, so enough of that one. I'll go back and do some more reloads try some different brass, a couple different things, and see what we can do with that one. And just to speak to safety, um, if you go to a range, the berm is there to stop the bullets. Uh, let's stop doing this. I mean, it's fine to, I guess the chair's out here to shoot as a target, but, oh, look at this. That's exactly why there's a truck down there. Now, if I was a dumbass and I was shooting this, uh, Obviously, you know the what that can cause. So use the berm the way it's supposed to. And then I need to go figure out why this truck is driving back there. Because this is a live range.